Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This will be a review on the Infinite Studio 1-6 scale limited edition resin statue of Toshiro Mifuni, the Japanese film legend as stated on the box. Now I know him mostly from Seven Samurai, but I know we're playing the Ghost of Tsushima game recently and absolutely loving that and how that was heavily influenced by the work of Akira Kurosawa and obviously you know, Mifuni here, he worked about 16 times apparently with the director. And this is just, this is going to be a beautiful looking piece. I can't wait to show it to you. Drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on Instagram at Dean Knight Free Free for plenty of pictures and clips. Beautiful packaging. Absolutely beautiful box. And in the bottom left hand corner there, it says Limited Historical Edition, Old and Rare by Infinite Statue. And here is the back of the box, folks, and there's a lot to look at here, including some amazing pictures of the statue itself, which almost look like film stills. Especially this one here. I love that's my favorite picture. It just looks so real. And the folds and the wrinkles in the clothing. Absolutely amazing. Down here, we have the info on the best way to get in touch and check out the other amazing products from Infinite Statue. And says here, conceived and realized in Italy. Amazing work coming out of Italy. Very proud of these amazing artists here. This is on the back of the box. Now forgive me if I pronounce the names incorrectly. I try my best, but I have to try because I do respect these guys a hell of a lot. They've done some amazing work from what I've seen so far. You've got sculptor Daniel Danko Angelossi, uh, painter Dario Barbera, art direction Fabio Berotti, uh, production manager Fabio Varesi. So I hope I have said the names correctly. But amazing work from these guys. Really, really very passionate. You can tell from just everything I've seen so far. Look at that. Look at the. Let's get this thing out of the box. But here is a beautiful write up on the just amazing work of Toshiro. Mifuni. Uh, I should really read this. There's a lot here. So I'm going to try. Let me just get my focus happening here. Okay. 2020 marks the 100th anniversary of the birth of the great Japanese actor and his country is dedicating exhibitions, projections and celebrations to him for the whole year. Mifuni, together with director Akiro Kurosawa, can be justifiably said to embody the golden age of Japanese cinema. In 1950, their victory at the Venice Film Festival with Rashomon, forgive me again if I'm pronouncing that wrong, brought their art to public attention in Europe and worldwide. Still today, Mifuni is the most famous Japanese actor of all time, and his personality has forever become part of cinema legend. He was an actor for which there were no limits, with a vast degree of professional skill and insight in researching the parts that he played, in fact, he was the only actor that Kurosawa, a master obsessed with perfection, respected to the point of granting him total freedom in his films in which he starred. He provided a unique, unforgettable portrait of the rebel without a cause, the outcast Ronin, who represented a break from the classic stereotype samurai. Toshiro Mifuni will always be the prince of Japanese cinema, and the most iconic portrait of the land of the rising sun. In order to create this statuette, we worked in close contact with the actor's grandson, Rikia, I hope I said that correctly, who gave us his unstinting cooperation in order to make this piece unique in its class. Intense research on the family archives, working on images, many of which have never previously been seen, and the inspiration provided by his most famous films helped us make this sculpture a concentrated episode of perfection in all details. By means of elements such as the samurai's physical posture, detailed research on the kimono and weapons, his hair and a careful study of facial expressions, we have researched a level of excellence that brings this statue close to the dream of being able to see the great Toshiro Mifuni in action once again. Appreciating the honor 
of being able to give this small jewel to all those who love great cinema, we would like to dedicate this piece to the immense contribution that Japanese culture has left us. That's just beautifully written. Beautiful packaging. Everything's so well presented and well written, and it really feels like you've got something really precious here. This is the certificate of authenticity that comes with the statue. I won't read all of this, but I will let you read that if you wish. I do suggest you do, because again, it's just really, really well done. So I'll check that out. Let's get to the statue. The beautiful presentation. And here it is. Alright, so got him on the rotating base straight away. And let's just take a look at his kind of diorama base here. Which is really nicely sculpted. The detail on his feet there. Amazing. So that's good and sturdy and sets the scene nicely. You have to put the katana swords in to his kind of belt there yourself. This arm is magnetic. So it's some very mild assembly. Just be very careful when you're putting the swords in place. Be very gentle. Take your time. Don't rush. And then you have something as awesome as this to look at and treasure for all time. I'll just pull back and let you see it turning in full. My rotating base is quite small, quite narrow, so I've had to put it on this uh, just a metal plate there just to keep the balance. Need to get myself a bigger rotating base, but look at this. Absolutely awesome looking. Really, really very impressed. Beautiful sculpt on the kimono. I love that it's black and white. It should be. Brilliant choice. It's the way it had to be done, really. And they absolutely nailed it. It just reeks of class and respect. A really beautiful tribute. Now I just want to get a closer look at the head as it turns around here. Beautiful work on the hair, really sculpted well, and the stubble effect on the face, the expression, the furrow in the brow, and the age around the eyes. Really, really nicely done. Now we'll just concentrate on the face. And very intense expression. It's nice seeing the kind of shadows fall in different areas as I turn him around here. Great effect with the facial hair, the way it's been painted. Super intense look in his eyes. That's a great angle there. And they really captured him. And check out the detail here with his hand. Drawing the sword. Beautifully done. Just everywhere you look, there's great details the texture on the kimono, the veins and the bone in his hand there. Take another little look here at the base diorama, the feet, and the end of the kimono, which doesn't look like a solid sculpt. It looks like material, but it isn't. It's very convincing. Solid sculpt, but it just looks so natural. Mm. 
weathering as well on the ends. Now looking at him from below, looking up at the piece, it has a real epic look to it. I would suggest if you're going to display it, I mean eye level or slightly above eye level would be really nice for this piece. Because from down below, things are just looking even more impressive. I don't know what it is, but it seems like a great way to view a piece like this. Look at that, that is just beautiful. Okay everyone, I'm going to wrap up the review. i got to give him a high score, genuinely, from the heart, because I know that this has been made with absolute passion, a desire to achieve perfection, to capture Toshiro Mifune's essence in a single pose, single form, frozen in time. I believe they've done it. And I just look at it from literally from head to toe, the base as well, everything. Nothing is jumping out at me as rushed or inaccurate. It's just a hell of a piece. Absolutely stunning to look at. A true tribute, a masterpiece to a man and his legacy captured to perfection. Now, they only made 500, so bear that in mind. If you are a fan, then I would not waste too much time and purchasing one of these I would honestly I see no reason not to give this a 10 out of 10 a strong solid 10 out of 10 beautifully made www.infinitestatue.com that's how you do it that's how you get it done I am truly impressed let me know what you think in the comments drop a like on this video subscribe to the channel follow me on Instagram at Dean Knight 333 and I have another statue review coming up after this one so keep it locked on the channel make sure you do subscribe see you soon take it easy bye bye